Hi everyone, in this video we have to simplify this given third expression and we have to confirm whether this is an integer or not. So let us solve this given expression. Now we will solve this separately. So let's say this is first expression and this is second expression. So first expression is 3 plus root 3 whole square. So we can use a plus b whole square. That is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 3 square plus root 3 square plus 2 into 3 into root 3. So we will get 9 plus 3 plus 6 root 3. So we will get 12 plus 6 root 3. Now let us focus on second part. Now for this one can we take this 3 common? So we have 3 in both places. So we can take 3 out and we can rewrite this as 1 upon 2 minus root 3 minus 1 upon 2 plus root 3. Now can we rationalize this? So for rationalization we will multiply the conjugate of this, right? So we will multiply by 2 plus root 3 and 2, 2 plus root 3 by in the numerator and the denominator. And here we will multiply by 2 minus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 in the numerator and denominator. So we can rewrite this as 3 into 2 plus root 3 divided by 2 minus root 3 into 2 plus root 3. So we have divided, we have multiplied 2 plus root 3 in the numerator and the denominator. Similarly, minus 2 minus root 3, here we will multiply by 2 minus root 3, 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3. Right. Now we can solve this further. So let us go to the next page. So we have 3 into 8. 3 into 2 plus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 into 2 plus root 3 minus 2 minus root 3 upon 2 minus root 3 into 2 plus root 3. Okay. Now, no, denominator is same for both. So, we can rewrite this as 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3. And here we will have 2 plus root 3 minus of minus of 2 minus root 3. So, minus 2 plus root 3. Right? And here we have 3. So, this would get cancelled out. Sorry, this minus 2 and plus 2 will cancelled out. This is not. So, we are left with 3 into root 3 plus root 3, 2 root 3. Now, here we will use formula a plus b into a minus b. So, that would be 2 square minus root 3. So, we are left with 3 into 2 root 3 upon 4. 2 square is 4 minus root 3 square is 3. 4 minus 3, that is 1. Right? So, we got 6 root 3 as our answer here. So this is second part and the first part 12 plus 6 root 3 and we have to subtract 1 minus 2 right. So we have to do 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 and the first part is 12 plus 6 root 3 and the second part is 6 root 3. Now we can obviously cancel these two out. So we are left with 12. Right? So this is our answer. So the answer is 12. So I hope you understood the solution. We split the question in two parts and we simplified them separately and at last we subtracted them. Now if you have better solution then obviously you can put it in comment section we can have a discussion there. So thank you.